lots of peeps. Michael here, Jamaican Carga, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Bucket Seed. Today's guest is extremely passionate about his love for the motorsports community, and he will speak about his journey coming up. I want to take the time out to apologize for the audio quality, and it will be better next time. Enjoy the video, guys. All right, reach that quick cross. That's me. Is that something? Soft. Yeah, all good, all good. All right. Boy, I don't even know how to introduce this gentleman right here. Maurice Whittingham, a renowned businessman in Montego Bay at Maurice's guest. They were actually on his location. Awesome driver. Awesome car is own too. In addition to that, to that, he's a mentor to a lot of young drivers, other business people. He's a role model in Montego Bay. And um, we come, come catch him a workout in a um, little gym. <laughs> so he's also somebody um, to look up to. So when I'm talking about um, Dan up like man, yeah, worries. Well, well, thank you, thank you. Um, you know, I really appreciate you because sometimes, um, I mean, I've been in Montego Bay all my life and I love Montego Bay. But there's a lot of disappointing factors to it, you know, and the, pe- the times have changed and the people have changed and, um, for what I word, it's the loyalty is a, is a lot. They're not as loyal anymore. So you don't feel it, there's a few like you, I would say, you know, and, and it, um, I have a few, but when you feel the majority not rallying towards a better cause and something that is truth, truthful and just, you know, they, they, they do in for little, you know, the shorthand route every time, it's a bit disappointing to me, as, uh, as I said, uh, that introduction, I would have inspire what I feel and actually uh, make me feel like, you know, what I'm on the right track sometimes. Because sometimes I feel like I lose my way, you know? Because sometimes when I'm a man, I speak what I feel, you know? When I start to talk, some people's feelings get hurt, you know? And they, they get hurt because it, it, it's the truth, you know? I don't mean to hurt them, but, um, you know, they, we, we, can, we only can learn from our mistakes, you That's know? True. Not to make them repetitive, you know? I understand. Um, on, on that note, what I like to always ask is, I give an introduction, but if I'm supposed to ask, who is Maurice Whittingham? Well, um, that's a very, very good question. I mean, you know, I admire that one because a lot of people have never really asked me who is Maurice Whittingham, but um, my father is Maurice Whittingham. I'm Maurice Whittingham, and I'm, I'm a Maurice Whittingham junior, but Maurice Whittingham, um, to identify me second of, um, uh, you know, I I almost don't even even know this is what it's about. And everybody recognized them, call me the doctor and call me world boss and call me on different um, rooms and have different accolades. Um, I want to be remembered as a good person, as um, honest person, um, and straightforward. Um, so it's a it's a wide thing because everybody recognized me as you know they, at one time. Um, drifting, I'm not so hard on it now as those other young people know because my priorities have to change a bit because I have four boys yeah. who I'm trying to put in the right direction. So it takes a lot of time running um, through different businesses and raising four boys. Yeah. But yeah, I still love it. So I still set an example for them through motorsports. I don't um, focus fully on it like a, a specific genre because I, I compete in all genres of motorsports. I mean, down to RC racing, mm. I'm involved in that. I, do, I, do, I have RC cars. I've not competed much, but I've done it. Mm-hmm. Um, I've gone through with um, circuit racing at Dover. Mm-hmm. I've won, um, you know, I've won Thunder, uh, the Thunder Sport race, which is a big deal. I've yeah. won it one Thunder time. Sport is with right? Yeah. So that is the top of the top, you know. Yeah. And I must tell you, I win it when, when um, David did butt down and Doug had trouble, but I win is a win, you know what I mean? <laughs> yep. So I mean, I'm, I'm proud to even have ever rubbed shoulders with those um, legendary people. And it's not only Doug and David, I'm talking about every race against the bomb, you know? And uh, the McGuins and, and the Moody's and, and stuff. And I mean, Mr. Moody, rest in peace. And um, has been uh, uh, an iconic figure in motorsports for, for for so long. You know, when you hear them talk about, you know, I hear them call what? At? No, what? Yeah. At? When people say themselves what? At? The way the man created it, look, it looks like a mini mock on yeah. steroids, yeah. and it ran circuit, and it had a rotary engine, and it was one of the baddest things spoken about across the island. When these guys get mad and create something, so I've raced with these cars. So I mean. 
my inspirations and, and so on from Dover to circuit racing to rally sport. And I've won rally sport championships many, many years back. And at one point, I won all four championships a year, mm -hmm. meaning um, um, it was rally sport championship, which is the biggest one, plus um, it was what? The two drive championship. Dexterity Championship, all of the accolades that fell under the yeah, Jamaica Million Rally Sport at, at that year. But um, I did it three years, so I mean, I was happy with it. But, you know, um, I am proud right now. Many people have passed through my hands and, 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 and is doing so well now, okay. you know. And I'm still, it's stuck in my head that I'm still competitive with them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, some of the vast reality I'm facing of with competing for the last two years. And, uh, you know, I only like one, one dexterity, but it is, you know, when I realize if you don't put your all into it, because the competition is that tight now, these cars that are out, you know, mm -hmm. is being fully built. And I watched the interview with um, you and, and Scott, mm -hmm. um, you know, and he's right. I give him kudos. He's been a consistent organizer for many, many, many um, years now. But, you know, I remember when... When he just started, and when he had just started, he he he, he um started his name as as Wet and Slide, and I had to correct him. I said, "No, Wet and Slide belong to the Monterey Mountain Club, which I actually started. I'm the first one who started with the track, realizing that it saved the tires and it mm -hmm. saved the the um competitor um aggress um you know the wear and tear in the car mm -hmm. for the car to compete, and actually it helped the car to turn more and do other things, and it was crazy exciting. That time drifting started but it was a totally different thing because the platforms that we had in jamaica couldn't configure at all for a full out drifting i mean i'm glad now because i'm looking forward to to drift option yeah. but it, it, it's hard to to set up a car for an event that is rare mm -hmm. you know and it's only two times before that we've ever had an event that is supposed to be of this level because we've gone to dover where the truck had brought in overseas drifters mm, and did it at Dover. And it was amazing. They brought in a couple of cars and it was it was a, it was beautiful. And at one point they were even selling one of the cars mm. after they left there and they had to pay the duty. And we were very interested in it, but I, I thought to myself, I said, but we don't have the events for this car, so to invest in it. And they were really because it's a different setup. Let us be plain. It's not that we don't have talent or we don't have drivers. It's a totally different setup. So even what we were competing in recently where Nicholas Barnes won the Red Bull um, car park. park, but it says it for itself, car park. Drifting is not done in a, gar in a car park. Nah, drifting so it says Red Bull car park drift, not drifting. Mm. So what Scott is doing, hopefully, when we see this, which is a, he's, he's a great man to introduce and pioneer um, things that he, he wants to see yeah. happen. So now... I'm very much interested in if, if there is a course that we're setting that we have full out a consistently flowing drifting course, yeah. you know? And if we see this and it's consistent enough, then to get sponsors on board, to give the sponsors the mileage and to get people to have a full out drift series competition or not drifting where you have cars in certain genres that has the full angle kits, the full power to keep it flowing, the clutch system. There's many things that go into a drift car. It's yeah. a totally different configuration from a circuit car, which why well, I give kudos to, to Nicholas Barnes, is that Nicholas Barnes has been drifting a car that is a circuit car. circuit car. Even though it is still a very highly prepared rail drive car because he's been so successful at at um, circuit mm -hmm. with what he has. And I, I, what I loved is that he actually came to dexterity and still, even though it, it, we, we, we could actually fight him on that. You know why? Because he had problems with people because this car sounds so hot and don't realize what he would battle with. He was battling with this long first gear it die out because the car was tough that go into a car and was going to dive into the first gear and carry it long enough a good enough torque to carry him through to keep him yeah. consistent. So his car was configured for Dover Raceway and made the jam for yeah. circuit. So when he came to 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 the the dexterities, which dexterities I don't want nobody undermine the word dexterity. Okay. I need them to look in a dictionary and look what a dexterity is because we'll go, years ago... We're we'll going we'll put it down here. So the meaning for dexterity are if it's too long, it will fill up the whole of here. So the, right. A dexterity is an introduction to motorsport, but it's also a part of running sport because they had kicked that 
next day the series off of the championship of the GMMC years ago, you know. Mm -hmm. And when we started to fight it with Mike Fennell and Ibrahim Khan and all of them, they said that Dexter is only on the sport. And I, I just jumped on it and pulled it up. Dexter is part of the biggest rallies in the world. Dexterity is a must, and Dexterity is not just a low speed car, or, but it's just giving you a, a wide variety that you can bring all that you can in order to, to merge over into competition where your cars have to step it up, where certain safeties are, so, and you bring it up so the faster you go, the better it is. But we had high speed cars doing Dexterity. So it wasn't necessarily, Dexterity wasn't necessarily surrounded around power or your car, but really your driving skills. No. Uh, it, yes, but no, because okay. it's just it's different classes, mm -hmm. different levels. But it was still allowed the, 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 a man who just basically the drag racer so on, so on, who wants to have an understanding of full control of his car. A lot of people don't grasp that concept. Mm -hmm. That is why I'm, I'm still pushing it, and I promise it to the public not to to do like the driving school, mm -hmm. but to grasp the concept of of understanding a car from front wheel drive to rear wheel drive to four wheel drive to limited to the difference in your suspension, your brake, left foot brake, and all these things to offset the traction and which side of the car you want it from. To, to have that knowledge and have it embedded into your soul that it becomes a reaction when it, when it least expected. You understand? Or even on the, on the road. On the road, it saves lives because... Remember, everybody used the road, you know. Our grandparents used the road. Our younger child that just get them license used the road, and they're not as experienced. And then you have your, 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 your regular people walking, and they, we, we know parish council going to provide sidewalk for everybody. So they're walking in the road. So we as drivers have to be very, very talented, you know, and it's a must to navigate these roads because even the taxi men that drive all these nods and boxes, they need to maybe go through a course, that I'm, but they're pretty good. Some of them are. But, but to see a I have one, so I know. <laughs> I do. I have one too. Yeah. Right? I have mine is outside. And, and, and to just not, and because mine have a red plate on it because I've recently purchased and stuff. I can see how they react to the different red plate and blue plate and, you know what I mean? Yeah, the, so the red plate adds an extra 100 horsepower. It's not the horsepower, but it, it adds an extra aggression from other people who block you and don't want to let you because of a bad rep that the rest of the taxi man give you, so then they body up and cost you unnecessarily even when you're innocent. So when you have a red plate, you're guilty. You understand? No matter what, I really like you just give guilty. Yeah. But what I want to tell you, the dexterity is the training. It's, it had to start somewhere. Yeah. And it not, what the dexterity was the biggest bridge into any form of motorsport. And it is all across the world. Even in, um, you know, I, I don't remember the news, but certain countries, this is where they started. And this is what they did for their young people. And the young people, think about it. Youngest people, youngest person in a Formula One is what age? Coming from go kart into F2 and, and, and 17, I think. 17. Right. And, and from F2 to F1. Mm -hmm. And it is history being made right now because you have to start, and that is to show that the, you, you don't hear F1 telling us uh, karting is, um, is foolishness. Mm -hmm. You know, so you cannot, so as, a, as a man who's just coming to, to drifting, Right, that is foolishness. Big up Z bar Z bar you know. him doing homework. He coming out him love it. He had a he had a passion for it and him, him spend the money and, and did his car to a right so that because he don't even want to power, you know, but he used what he has and him don't complain and was very successful. Um you, you know, but and, and he was favored to, and did very well. But um, I mean right now, I mean I'm looking at so many people, Chris John, um, down to Stephen Seal, all the yeah, it's not drifting yet. No, drift kid. Oh, drift kid. Oh, sorry. Steven yes, drift kid. No, no, no. I'm talking about sing. That, oh. that that's other sing. Uh, drift kid. I know which TV you're talking with a oh. white starlet. Yeah, yeah. And thing. Yeah, man. He has a different drive. There's so many people that have different drive. And what I love, the people today who are more successful at any form of these sports are literally mechanic and engineers and mentally why they can work sorry. on their own to be consistent. Because if it's a man like me, you know, I've sit and wait and be someone of this and do this, which is what is happening. Yeah. Dog then a supper. True, because true, true. It, it don't make it here, at this don't make it to put on this and it don't have that. Unless you do it yourself and feel out and you don't have all these businesses to run and so on and so which is not an excuse. If you love it, you love it. That's what them say is a rich man's sport. But it's not a rich man's sport if you are actually the um in business with it, so to speak. You know what I mean? Like dog war. Wow, hats off to Tommy. 
and David with Senna. Um, but what they have mastered is actually marketing themselves properly. They're the most marketed um, racing group ever to touch out of Jamaica. And I think David followed some of Doug's model. Mm -hmm. And Doug, what, to keep himself even in motorsports for so long, had to have to wear the flag of Montego Bay. We're proud of your dog boy. You know why? As my, uh, they don't give you what you deserve because he did it and got as much as, you know, use your personal business as some of us do mm -hmm. and, and put it in the motors because we love it as for a trip to say, I still can do this and blah, blah, blah. Mm. So that is why sometimes, even though I, some people keep on mistaking it, I still compete because of my heart and the love that I have for motorsport, no matter what. I'm not going to get up and, and say, I'm not going to compete because I know some care, care with me. I go out there, win or lose, bad ratio, all kind of something, whatever I have for me, I can start, I'm going to compete because it's not that I only love it. Mm. But I'm out there to compete and make the chips fall away. It may, mm. because that is competition. You bring what you have, as Jesus said. Mm. Bring what you have, and then you share it amongst the crowd. And people need to understand, instead of sitting down and criticizing other people, say, so me, I'm so sometimes when I say, I don't want to call a name, like a, a certain super and I say, I'm going to come over the I'm going to say, no, something nice. They're here, and, and, and it's a learning curve for them, and they, 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 with consistency, those become the greats. I mean, Fraser can't, um, McConnell. McConnell, you know, I used to race against him, I beat him already. <laughs> and think about it, look at Fraser now. If I rub shoulders with him, I feel privileged like I met President Obama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yet, he will call me on my phone, and when I was at the Rebel Car Park Drift, and they changed the course slightly, and I had an accident with my car, mm, that was the first man to call me. I said, Ricky, you are doing the greatest, you are following the most detailed, you are amazing, tough luck, and that's racing. And I, I, that alone, I went home feeling like I'm a winner. Never had my head down, and I just got the car, but motivation with racing peers, that's one thing I realized in Jamaica, the people who race amongst, they not, uh, don't have that, what's the word, come back, do they? Eh? That's one word. They don't have that thing where they, you, 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 you're together racing and competing, and um, when one barn burned down out of, out of the center, out of the field, get a fire, we all get together because we know that we need each other. To keep and sport alive. Yes. You know? So, they don't, they don't do that. And it's so sad. I was trying to tell Marcia Bars, Larry Henriquez, um, um, Abraham Khan, all these people years ago when I was the chairman for the Montego Bay Motor Club and I used to be the chairman for the DRC, not the chairman, I was on the exit for the DRC, when they just formed it and JMMC moved one side to do the ASIN only, and uh, Marcia and, and Larry bought out the rights for Jamaica to make it, you know, to build it and improve it because they wanted to be on the world stage mm -hmm. where they attracted world people. I told them, I said, you have to pay attention to the, the smaller people who, that is why dexterity is to me, was always my passion and, 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 and so on. Because dexterity is, is where it starts. This is dexterity is introduction. The introduction, how it starts is how it shall end. And how you promote and how you make the person feel about themselves growing there is what carries to it with them throughout the day. I tell my boys out of the four, I said to them, when you get up in the morning and you build and change and put your clothes, look in the mirror. And when you put yourself together and you're satisfied with how you look, even if you go through that door and your shirt is rumpled and your pen ink up your shirt and all these things, that impression that you put in your mind and, and felt good about yourself in the beginning of the day is what carries you throughout the day. Mm. And you feel good about yourself and people treat you better, deal with you better because you, no matter, even if you're, you're falling apart, you feel good so that spirit comes out and presents you mm -hmm. in, a, in a great way. So I am trying to tell you, motorsports is my passion and I love it. And I do corruption. Let me go back to the to it. Truth eruption is an amazing thing. And I want to tell Scott, kudos. I, I give him the, 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 the pack on the back and I'm gonna even without I don't have it the car that is configurative. Mm -hmm. Let me <laughs> effort to come to the event and do what I can. Okay. But why I am so assertive with what I say now, you know, with, with, when we're talking, it's a little bit of politics and we're saying things like or oh, when it's spinning and mandible and so on. So big up mandible, mandible. Did I have, you know, oh, oh, I don't want to say it to mandible. <laughs> mandible, mandible, turn up. 
<laughs> different from Bobby, it changed hands, you know. It go on, go on. And it, the disposable income of when we build care and sell care. Mm -hmm. You understand? <laughs> if it changed, then Moby get a bus through end up and couple mm -hmm. of things and care start building on itself. Mandeville is the instant for cares though. Well, well that's what I have to be but Mandeville had a passion for certain cares, but it was a taboo, if you remember something, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a taboo, you know, when you can get it, you know. You remember I said Jamaica, we can't be Jamaica. You know? I was first. Great light before some of the biggest countries in the world. True. So we like, we have the same mindset then. We are the what? We're rebellious people. We don't like to talk about slaves. Yeah. You understand? We tend to go above and beyond because any race in Jamaica and drop, they excel more away than even here because they're more driven. That's true. That is true. So Jamaica itself will always make a mark, just like you have to big up. Or suffer the original um the record wall and then they see you see him come and turn it up even more and it, you know we 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 hope we roll it and it never ever get broken until it's unless it's another Jamaican you want to go unless it, to me I get you but unless it's Alex Jamaican to me because I think Molly I think it's a bad luck because when she did a run she so she was actually the winner but at that time other countries were had had, had, had injections. Mm. And then, then, so she never got the, the, the praise she should have got because Barry she was a natural runner. Mm. It was Jamaica natural for that. But drift option is going to be, to me, uh, a new, uh, 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 it's going to be a, 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 a start yeah. of drifting in Jamaica. So it's I like lovely. to separate them. It's a lovely introduction for drifting. I won't even separate it and say high speed drifting or anything else, but just the pure sense of what drifting is separate from dexterity or a car park drift but drifting on an actual course so with this we're gonna move into because we just you just said a lot and we just had a lot from you so what i want to do is find out how it is that you got into motorsport was it a passion thing that you tried or was it something that trickled down from family as it does for a lot of people, especially in mobile? You know, strange. Um, I have one family member who was iconic in, in driving at Dover, which was Colin Whittingham. Mm -hmm. And his son raced recently at the sprint in, in, in Trelawney yeah. with his BMW. His name is Spencer uh, Whittingham. Black man, black man. Right. And he did a very good time and then his car broke down. But, but the thing is, let me tell you something here. Uh, my biggest influence was the Montego. The Montego had a very strong um, racing fraternity back then. And I keep talking about Tony Ten with his mini because he lived up the road from me when he used to play um, football in the runabout. I, at the first front wheel drive, I sit on side here, fully around the runabout. But when you talk about Strati King um, and, and Bram and Reina, when you say Strati with a white body style, that is why to this day he had a white body style with a 3T. Toyota 3T, if anybody understand them, engine that was full of Toyota, like 1800. You understand? In that car. And uh, then they used to watch them play football in the car, and then they move up, appear side, and then Raina come with a, a starlet that didn't buy it from a series I heard, I'm not sure. But it had in a Ford Mustang engine in a two door KP61 Toyota starlet. Mm -hmm. When that car moved up, it was legit. It, rumors had it that it wheeled. And it used to run at Dover, but it was these are the cars that was driving past us every day as youth going to school. When Richie Ray went bus from, uh, as them uncles and a drive ride a KPZ 1000 to school, turbocharged. Listen to me, your hand is a turbocharged man. Back then, turbo. This man going to call us and uh, it was 15 or under. Mm -hmm. And I ride a KPZ 1000 come back by school. And man, like, man, man like um, Kevin Burgess, a company dirt bike. And when they come up with a dirt bike, he put on his knapsack and he went to turn it down. This is what they ride to school. This is, was the excitement and the people and the caliber of people that, that was buzzing around. So I had, I had no other Never choice nice. but for it to be ignited into my blood. And so one day, because I had partnered with my oldest brother and bought my first CRX, that was the CRX first I ever buy, you know, mm -hmm. to run, you know. And then I don't know what my brother told me, and he said it. I don't know what happened to But... The next attempt was a that was a real drive starlet. And from that that started, the Lord just blessed me that because I actually won that car and won JP, I mean JA one championship for many years, you know. Mm -hmm. I put it down and start to win JA two, put in a new engine, to my part that and buy a Mavic. Mm -hmm. And then I was competing so well with that. I'm the first person to put a Mavic on the dirt in Jamaica since the big Mavic series. 
Um, and it would be a new set. I wouldn't say that because it was a um, Matty Gwai that older one from Oliver Townsend and Harish from China and they had a full drive one, right? But out of the new bodies, the 98 and the 99 and the 97s, I was the first person to receive one from Japan when they all purchased them to put it on there. But we went to Cayman with it and I had an accident. Well, not me. They tried to take me out. So they put me in an accident. I had to sell it where I came back home and then I just said, you know, why am I going to leave what I know alone? I pick up at the starlet. Yeah. I start to run and the starlet is basically even to this, to, to this day why I'm popular known in motorsports. But yeah, it is what it is. I mean, I have a few cars now. I compete with a A86 uh -huh. left hand drive. I have two of them that I'm trying to put together to do school. But I mean, it was a street car. Uh -huh. So I was busy when I heard about this Red Bull car park, which was something new again. Uh -huh. I said, yes, I, I, it's, it's interesting again. So I said, I would come in and start competing. But I started from scratch that car because the style it was so much more advanced in, in, in um, you know, in, in upgrades that. When I started with the 86, you know, I was stiffing if there was enough events. And all of a sudden, enough events came around. So we start spending money on the 86 mm -hmm. and start. So by the time the middle of the year, I start get competitive. You know, it's another thing. And now, we evolved now into Drift Option, which is officially now we're going to have local people, not people from abroad, coming to, to bring the cars that they've been configured and everybody watch TV and all these different things mm -hmm. to a juke session. So we're now waiting to see the platform that um, Scott has um, put out there for us to see. I see a few things with drifting mm -hmm. when inside and carry on the side. It's a test in the course, but an ad for that. bear in mind, other people don't understand, this is a way more, because from, from me doing an dexterity to work the course to see the tires where mm. you could compete for so much more. And now, it's the dry, raw horsepower tire done, so, I am sure, after yeah, one set of tires is going to take power on. Yeah, so yeah. if I'm going to go to three, you know, you have three set of tires. And not only that, you have to press them, axles them strong enough, and some man will be well up. If you shut the diff the wrong way, it pop. You understand? Know we, we, when they had the run, at um, they had a test run out by um, Dover. Mm -hmm. With Z-Boss and Nictas. Mm -hmm. I think after Z-Boss, though, half the course or the full course, tires have to change again. And I think he was out of commission because I think the axle broke. I was there. Yeah. I was there and I was standing with AKA Cutter Hype, the real boss. That man is the real boss. Yeah. I remember the first time I met that man. He was in pull up to Junction with a car. I don't remember if on the record something somebody bust him, I'll something up. Mm -hmm. And one well, of the he got the engine and damage. But I never see a man fix something so fast. And that's yeah. when I said, whoa. Cutter is a legend, man. Yeah, man. And hey, it, tell him, say, don't afraid that camera. Tell Kota, I said, don't feel like camera. Bro, I can't tell you. I know it for years. You know what happened to Kota? It's Kota's humble spirit. Mm -hmm. You have a genuine team inside of him. What him is, him, him is, to me, is one of the, um, one of the competitors. I, I will say only that wherever he is, I, I am proud to stand up. And wherever he, he is, I am proud to compete alongside him. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, here I have done... What, what, what Scott is trying to um, say now over like a tandem drip and a, when we would go out there him and Nicholas got very had teamed up recently and they were doing all these shows together which, which is a great thing uh, so they kind of practice together and flow together because they trust each other mm -hmm. and they understood what each other machine would do because I think Cutter was starting to cut up exactly. them and and, and the, the big man who, who really care real fast and I put into it uh, uh, when they were in but, but he was the, the, the formula he, he, Nicholas Kerr, but they had a thing going. So they said, you know, they could just do this. And they, they stuck together. Mm -hmm. and, they, that, and then they really boosted Nicholas where he is. And he deserves because Nicholas is not only driving, but people don't understand. As much as you're a driver, as you're big neighbor, whatever, if you don't have the team that is the incremental part of racing, if you don't have a, a, a good mechanic, a good supporter, people who are there already on the day, Support system, it it is very rough. Some people go down to people that is it's not a want of a better word to say that they're not a good driver. Either. They are great drivers, but the support the support system is lacking. Yeah, and I I identified so that is why I pick and choose the races I go because I have been so um so working so hard to fulfill other arrangements in my life. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because I'm not a young man anymore. That's what people. I'm not, what I love is that people. Normally, still and children still 
see me and say yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I realize, I mean, they, they, they say World Boss, so they didn't know so many with it. On that note, um, the name World Boss, how it is that you come on, come to get that name? World Boss, wow. Well, boss is a big name, especially right now. Yeah. <laughs> With um, part and free, I mean, world boss is not necessarily named world as world boss. It's oh. W-U-R-L as whirling the car around oh. boss. So um, it actually is a, um, what is the word? Um, it's actually growth from other names. Mm -hmm. And the original name was the doctor because I was so precise in my drive, which was precision Sorry, driving yeah. with the dexterities and my my rally, mm -hmm. rallying, which I was so good at. And I still think I'm going to release it. I did the Spot Valley Rally Challenge and I and did very, very well with a car that we haven't done it in so long. So I was, I was very, I felt very good about that mm -hmm. and looking for the next one. And even the last event that MRE put on out in um, Falmouth, mm -hmm. um, you know, my car hit the light post and still I don't even see them to stop, still won my class. Still made the top ten mm -hmm. out of all, and these cars are not normal because the cars that are there are Dover cars mm -hmm. with all different classes. So to be overall up in the top ten, um, I am happy because my car is a stock sixteen hundred with a and a gearbox. I mash up on the glass really, and I have a big old three, three what is it like a a four a four one mm -hmm. a three nine in it. So the gear them along, but I said you know that's me for the car to drive never run. Mm -hmm. But World Boss, honestly, is, is um, I got that name when, um, you know, it, I think is I mean, Johnson actually surprised and just put it on the back of my car because he heard somebody in the crowd saying, this someone is like the World Boss. Mm -hmm. And then Amir said, yeah, man, a World Boss. And he did, I didn't know, he just did the sticker and put it on the back glass yeah, and started. Yeah. And from that, everybody stuck with that name. And I mean, all events at the time, I was I always won. I was winning everything at the time. And it was for not one year, two years. It was for years. Mm -hmm. I think I am the most, um, at that time, I still know. I don't think anybody's ever beat me. I'm the most winningest. Um, as Scott Willis said, Dexter, the champion yeah. um, in Jamaica for so many years, which, which, which um, you know, and that's why I still feel good that I'm racing I'm amongst everybody and still can do somewhat of a comparable time. And I know, you see what happened to me? I know by doing the right thing, I, is, I know what to do to actually catch them. But what happened is the events were changing so rapidly that they were a little bit discouraging for me. I don't know about everybody else, because from I think that timed event is the only event that is competitive, because I don't think that we've figured out a system yet to fairly judge from the eye a uh, uh, um, uh, uh, car park drifting. When Red Bull came and introduced the car park drifting, the, when they when I, I entered both events and I was so precise that I think that it was my downfall because when I checked it out and, and I look back on the tapes and I've been reviewing it and watching it, you see where the the the, the call in the, the guy who came and gave us the rules who was officially down from Red Bull and laid out the course. The course that they laid out was the best they could do in such a tight space because even that platform mm -hmm. could not they brought over to the platform where Nicholas raced in, in where was it? The, uh, the, um, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. It was a much wider, faster. So even when Nick went, they have you know, bigger, they have way bigger um, parking. We were, we, we were, it's, so it can be a drift. So they, we don't have parking that's big enough that even when Red Bull was looking for contestants here to actually add us to the, to the roster mm -hmm. in, in these other countries so that we have it to build it even more because we have a good Red Bull, um, um, marketing here is why they said Jamaica. Jamaica is a brand. I have you seen have all these different people. Sha um, um, Sean Paul, Shaggy, um, Testan, all these people. And I'm saying, are they drivers just as talented? It's intriguing. So now that you have the Senna and the Tommy and the Fraser McConnell and, the, and all these other people, you know, they're now looking to say, in, it, is it there in drifting? Which they are amazed. They got very good reviews. But what happens, they, to me, that's my opinion, you know. I don't want to be to, to, that that taking that and put here would would all the work with it here could not apply over there. So Nicholas did a fantastic job with what he had going to the world stage there in a car he never drove before, and 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 still with all adversity, still put himself and pushed through. Hey, we were in the car with Nicholas. We went through the emotions with this man. 
You understand? Yeah. And 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 it it was ridiculous. We're all in the car. <laughs> yeah. I think the world of football. Up. <laughs> I think the world of a mark on foot. Oh, you know, it is what it is when people are get confused and they lose their way with um just um why I say that is with different platforms. To me, it's three different platforms. And what I, I'm very eagerly anxious to see what Scott's gonna do next, which is great. Him pioneer that. So I remember I've supported him when he just started in the extension and realized that James was messing himself. And I was so experienced. I was the one who endorsed Scott when he went to Pines Plaza and went there and MC the show that even though was, the problem is as it, as, is either you don't you don't. Either he's a top organizer or he's a top driver, me love drive. So what happened to me now? I know that I'm a top organizer, but I gave them what I had and I don't know if they remember or appreciate it. Where I literally used to go to shows and MC the show because I knew each details of all the drivers to promote and bring the, it to the crowd. Mm -hmm. So even though mine wasn't too good, I could get the crowd excited to make them know. So for one half, he's doing great. And then I could, I not only MC the show, I also um, drove and majority of times run it. Mm -hmm. So for me to drive, MC, and be organizing the stewards and the timekeepers and so on, so it was a lot. But at the same time, um, you only can receive kudos for one. That's true. If they never ever give it for both. You know, even in the GMMC, they had a organizers championship and you couldn't get it. You couldn't win it if you were a driver, which is crazy. You know what I mean? So you had to give somebody else on the umbrella, like the manager, the points and make him win the organizers championship. Because those trophies are still in my office. Colin Chambers, rest in peace. Larry Henriquez, rest in peace. Um, Errol Anderson, um, um, you know, all the, 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 these icons. You know, and so on. But I mean, I was very much um, upfront with these people that the direction that a lot of them took damaged the motorsports. But motorsports, hopefully, through people, persons of like um, Scott, right, who pioneered Scott's electrical, Bima lifestyle, um, all these other things here that he continues to be driven to do. You're going to get some criticism, even from me. You understand? Because I want you to be able to do it. The best way because Jamaica is a band because uh, we, we need to recognize that because look on Barbados. Barbados come out and borrowed our rule book and for rally sport brought it down there and they have the, the we've, we've never seen a rally the magnitude of Barbados okay. and, and they've enhanced on it. So why is everybody coming to Jamaica and taking our dance moves, our styles, our platforms and so on and yet it yet seems to expand so easily elsewhere. But here, what I tell you, so let me ask you a question, hold on, what I, what I tell you, what I tell you why it will expand here as easily as anywhere else? We lack some, and I think it's unity. All right, For, to me, the people, <laughs> it's simple, the people, and that is what is discouraging, because think about it, I get excited to get up at, at my house in the morning, I'm a walk hotel, I'm going to look, I'm going to see my car. Eh? When I see my car, I'm going to say, if we have genres, we can have, I believe in having a car for different genres. I have a circuit car, I have a rally car, I have a drift car, I have a dexter car, I have care for just whatever, instead of time, pull on, pull on, pull on, pull on, fit up, fit up, fit up, and it, it's not successful. I believe in preparation to be successful. So that is a downfall to because unless I see the platform, why am I going to prepare for something that is not built yet? Unless the, the 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 facility is there to support it, correct. Um, you don't make the sense. You have the tools to work on something that you never. Yeah, you know, it's it's even the biggest people in Jamaica right now that can afford to do it how they want to do. It. They have taken their cars and they're racing in Barbados and they're racing all over the other places in the world. And when Jamaica seems to can't get their act right, or organizers can't get their act right. They tend to send it somewhere else. So that is why I say, you see, all everybody would have jump up now. I'm mean, afraid to say, jump up and say, oh, I will do this, I will do that. No, 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 no. Fix up that. When it came to where we reached to even the level of drifting and so on, so we pioneered, started, build it, organize it, and this was a dream. And I'd say, oh, no, so you tell it somewhere. And you pick it up. So hats off for you for that. But do not 
talk, don't take, recognize, and, and you get a strong of fellowship and support mm -hmm. and say yes, because it's like my father uh, and the same thing is a good job. I still that right here. I'm like that. Moses' glass is not Maurice here. It's my father named Maurice. This, this business ran for me, I would say, early 60s. Yeah, not from 52 Valley Street to here. Mm. We have been a cornerstone business that has supported this community and this hemisphere in Jamaica, uh, Montego Bay, from those days till now. And I've never seen somebody say, um, let the, the lawyer or the, or the, or the um, source of come and say, for business that's supplied, and we don't, we, I know, I know, um, scripts and fireworks, we are <laughs> We are supplying gas during hurricanes, lift it up and carry it into communities. We don't want to know the credit line that I run to this day to people who are, have been pinched and, and, and this and that. And I just say, no worries. And I sustain it because you know, I trust them and they trust me. And I take the same trust my mother had, my grandmother had, my father had. And I extend it. If this business, I won't say it, it won't make me rich, but it makes me mentally rich. Mm -hmm. You understand? And because of that, I continue to do what I do. And I live within my means and stay in a million. So, big up the, the um, cartel, the, the original world boss, but the world boss in a drifting, I stay in a million. You understand? But if that don't, that, that I am, I am definitely sh um, shooting for the style still, and still aspire to be number one, even amongst these other young guys. Because what I love, you know, all these guys who are talking now, you know, could be my children, That's and they don't understand. They are my children. They are my children. So I am proud of them. Some people mistake it and think that I, it's, it's envy. It's proud. Because I've heard some conversation that it cut me like a knife and hurt me. Well, I wouldn't think that I wish them nothing but the best and well, that I am almost, you know. But if you don't understand, it's called pass the baton. Mm -hmm. Go, go, go. But that don't mean, I don't think us officers should have stopped running. Well. We should have enjoyed himself, we should have enjoyed himself, and I'd still run. You understand? If these people do what you love, that's what keeps you young. Don't make nobody tell you, you're not for borrow, you're not for borrow, you're just as hard as you work. You must enjoy yourself. So if it's on a different level where you're on barbecue and you go travel or you swim in a pool or you go beach or swim or, or, or you go country or you go eat shrimp and fish up a father, Chris, or you go from this house so and touch, touch the, the road and go on the ocean and find a place or sometimes, or, or you, go, you know what I mean, bala bala speed where, where, where plantation you go, you go kick back and say, you know, so you race over there. The last big race was Daryl King over there and Daryl went out to very class. Rest in peace, my friend, because I've talked about it anything emotional. You understand? I've been there, I've been there because he was with me when he, when, 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 when he, when he, when he fell. You understand? I've seen it. But show, you know what I should say? Respect your elder. Eh? Show respect. It's for what, it's not, it's not because I'm older. It's what we've seen and how we can share with you. Mm -hmm. You understand? And that is it. That is how I drop the mic on these people who keep talking. And you understand? And I still set the benchmark with it. I, even if it might be lower. Them to beat it, and when them beat it, then you then you do the thing. And how far? Because the people who are used to racing of my age, who are older, are even my age now who put it down because they can't manage. Mm. Still, I turn it, don't it? Yeah. So why give up on it? Why should I stop? I know you said to me recently, you know, you should give the race J eight one winners, but you should have put it down so them other people could have shot me. Nobody else there really. And <laughs> if can't say that because. It was lovely. MRE came up with them thing early, and we're right. Who I competed against for very young, which was Juno Madison, Zidane, mm -hmm. and um, it was Zidane and uh, and and it was about oh, oh young um, King mm -hmm. they, um, in in the new acquired Nivek and stuff, which drove very well. But if they knew what I was driving, I still take the win, and I'm happy to take it, even with my accident. You know why? Because. I had to drive like a battle to help me, but I'm not going to complain. I had my challenges. They had this, and they are not to catch up an experience and surpass it. Sometimes I think people confuse you participating in motorsports as you trying to still be relevant, when really and truly it's just your sheer enjoyment of being involved in it. So if you still have the breath to do it, you're going to still do it. I remember when they had, um, I think, they had something at um, Dover, it was um, Dog War versus the Radicals. Right. And at that point, I think his dad raced 
in one of the cars, a Civic. He bought, he bought a Civic for his first dad. Old, old right. for and his dad won? And it, was, and it wasn't to show off or to know. It was simply because I enjoy this. I want to partake in it. To and I still, I still have bread. And that's it. And I'm still going to do it. Show example, the family, the everything. I mean, look from look at his father, new mm -hmm. to dog to, to family goer, right? And each generation, it gets better. Right. Because boy, I'm a So what you say? So I run now with dog if you stop bread? No, I'm a Tamina. It's a Tamina the beast there and there. And, 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 and it, it stopped it from dog. And dog he, winning and dog, dog was doing very well too. I mean, dog is he, still he's still a competitive nature, of course. You must say, but I, I'm gonna kick your ass. You so need to, you need to come it. win it. I'm gonna so kick your ass. That is what it and should if be. You win it, we show your love. That is it. You know, you have to um, don't talk or smack, um, talk somebody. It's, you not, know? it's not us against each other, or it's not us trying to trying to prove anything to each other. I think it's just. Really, us working together to appreciate and support the sport we love, and in the same breath, we push each other outwards, and that is <clears throat> to the international stage where we allow other people to really see that yo Jamaica have it, and not just tourism. We have it in a, we not just have it in a farming. We have it on the street. We have it on the track. We and it's not just artists alone. We push out. We push out good drivers. Well, I hope that what I'm saying here is clear enough that whoever watches um, this um, blog that they can actually relate and understand how to apply because to have knowledge and can't apply it don't make no sense in it. But to apply what I'm saying to it, it almost applies to all aspects, you know, that if we come together and 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 it should be a positive outlook and we go even further instead of you know we picking and it's insecurity you know, and people behave like this you know you know and and it, it, it's sad when um, I'm, you know, I remember going, even when I'm watching Lewis Hamilton right now in a F1, oh my God, I'm so glued to the TV because I see the fight, but I, he is my inspiration. Why? He, I don't hear him open him out and talk any farmer, um, better in just doing his time with Mercedes and hopefully that they, the respect that he has lost with Mercedes, that Ferrari will give put, the right, right, and even if he may be the best guy, he doesn't win another deserved championship. Um, that that total will steal from him. Um, it, 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 he will still go out the way he wanted to in a car that they're trying to make it competitive and not sabotage the man. A straight up sabotage. You can see it in between Russell, Russell Car and his. And the last race recently here, and, and I made really it drove me crazy when I was watching it. I'm like, but wait, that is it. Just like I was in the car, I was moving in the car with, 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 with Lace. <laughs> and when I when, when got treated and said, see it there. You know what I mean? And it went down just that they, they, they ate the Audi. I was in the car with him too. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it is, it is um, an experience and it is a love and it's a passion. And I do appreciate everything that still is coming forward. I wish there was more events. If we had one monthly, then I could really decide that I would seek the right sponsorship because I, I already own the platforms. Mm -hmm. You understand? I own the platforms. I own the circuit platform. I own the Redis platform, the drifting platform, and so on. Because I have a car, you know, that if I feel like it, if I feel like it, I've driven enough, we take out that car and throw up the side with the top, but you want over six, seven hundred horsepower, burning tires, full side, proper and look it, but preparation is the key people need to understand. Because at the end of the day, we need to go back to our family safe. So they can know what to do. Every kind of build, build it with a purpose. Build it with a, a goal in mind of what you want to accomplish. Meaning, really, if it's a car to enjoy on the road, you keep it, make sure it has good brakes and suspension. Power, save life. No matter what you tell us, but the up on noise and the up on so and so, yeah, but other people use it so it gets a little bit excessive. If you're going to build a car for the track, then what goals, Safety what championship? First. Safety first. That, that goes without saying, and it's gas missile. Cooking here, so we have the safety record for we've never had an accident, and you know, we didn't know this. Right. And, and, and we are the oldest, I think, um, gas pro dealer in I would say agent dealer in the island. Oldest, I don't know anybody else who's old and still in business, I still has kept it. I kept I, I ran this business because of um, respect and love I have for my father and my mother, Maurice Whittingham, and my grandmother. Um, uh, uh, my father's mother and all of them but I mean I still hold it here because we have other businesses that we do mm -hmm. right but this is where you'll find me um, still helping the people talking to the people out the door 
and so on. I'm hoping that I still give back to the community, you know, but, you know, it is it's not, but, but yeah, that is it, basically. And, you know, hopefully that this inspires the younger people who, who I used to give my children to when I mean, that it inspires them to become what they feel they, they can be. Mm. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it, 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 I remember, I remember, um, um, Nicholas always come and check me as you know, both. And he was so back then. His father was creating that series speed and was doing very well with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were fighting back and forth, I guess, with the championship because they're, they're talking about um, what do you call it? Um, where, where it's sanctioned. Mm -hmm. But uh, Nicholas was doing well, but I realized um, I, I spotted what his, 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 what his weakness was, and guess what it was? Eh? Mm -hmm. Man is a talented general, I is is muscular. At the time, he was so small. He was very weak. He a big guy, you know. But he was so small. I said to him, and, he, and I said, take some weights. And it, they fit the you are. When you run out of energy, by the time you read the championship run, you're, you're, you tend to, 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 if you get tired, your brain fatigue will make you lose concentration. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something. All the time, he's saying, I can't be too far from him. And he said, I can't let them let them be too let me because what he told him, he must stop work out with it. And when he realized he had the stamina to push through a full event of three runs and whatever, haphazard stuff, then the championship run is when he started to get better results. And that is was when him alone. You have the Christian, you, know, you have all of these people who, um, you know, come and ask you, what am I doing wrong here? And it, till now, I mean, I mean, yeah, so it is what it is. I mean, I um, you have to be humble. It don't matter what. Anyway, you, you've never been before. Ask somebody who's already been there, and you will get that experience. Don't be actually the smartest man in the room is the one who's actually sitting and listening. Mm -hmm. You understand? I understand. So it, it is just um, what it is when it comes to anything in life: your business, motor sports, your family, and so on. Which you know, I hold very dearly. I get you. All right. So to pretty much close and end. We're gonna wrap up with one final question, not question, but like statement. If you could pass on um, a bit of advice <clears throat> to younger, your younger self, and in, in, in this term, the younger generation that's coming up, whether it is somebody who's just starting or somebody who is already in it and probably stuck and not sure if they should continue, what kind of advice would you give to them? And, this will translate to life of us as well. Um, you mean if they're not into motorsports? Yeah. My advice is, is um, if you commit, you commit fully. And when I say commit fully, as I mentioned earlier, even Doug's platform, I admired where he put pen to paper, not only in driving skills or modifications, research, research and development, he um, applied through business aspect to, to sponsors and to certain people to, to keep him going. So it could allow his business to grow because you can't concentrate on one thing. And because even me at first, I used to do majority of it out of pocket. I remember being barely sponsored. I've been sponsored before, but if I was, um, if I could do it all over again, I would have been more pen to paper or computer or laptop or, or whatever it is now and constantly be pushing out and marketing myself because social media is a big thing now. I'd market myself, which back then, if you Google me now, you see me a lot in the greener and then there's a lot of articles of me in the style, the greener, all these different things, which I had to draw back for to push to certain people for them to say, no man, this one is a winner and is a potential winner because I, I saw on the net, that, you know, what's appealing you know, is that if you're young and you have potential or if you're middle age, doing well, or when you're older, your accolades and so on, so that, that you've already accomplished and still are you a tiger woods? Or you are a little summertime at, at 30 and 40 and still winning? Or you are, you know what I mean? And yes, it gets, if, as you get older, as your choice is in everything, do you understand? <laughs> so what it is now, it is for my advice to them, if I could do it all over again, um, I'd mark it a lot more, mm -hmm. you know, because I loved it and I, 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 I have no regrets when it comes to um, me competing because the adrenaline, don't get me wrong, the biggest payback is that thrill. I don't know if any one of my four boys will ever get into motorsports because their mother is, is brilliant and she's smart. So she is more of a, a book. You understand? And, and not to say that I didn't, but they, she's fully in a different direction, which they are her too. So they're all doing very well. I'm very proud of my Maurice, Merrick, Miles, and Miss. 
and they are all honor roll students. Mm. I work very hard on them, so, do, so um, does their mother. And it, 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 I, I don't push them. They love coming to the races. And when I'm in the car and everything, daddy turn it side. Drift it, drift it. And they start cheering like mad people in the car. And I'm like, I, I bought a, I purpose bought a M3, which is a Ford instead of the M4, so that they can all sit in the car and I pick them up and they say, turn it when it's law abiding. We, 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 we give them the full drift and then they're like, yeah. So now I end up the bus and they say, drift it and I say, we laugh. Yeah. <laughs> they want to drift the bus and turn over. You know what I mean? <laughs> but they, they, they stand to understand what it is, what machinery, and when they come to the races, I'm the most inspired. When they come out and say, daddy, good luck, do well. And, and it has me focused and driven, which that applies to all aspects of my life. Now, why even motorsports, uh, which is my passion, I have I, I, I retracted some of the energy in it to put into them, you know. So, so but I'll never put it down. That's why I still go in racing. I'm, I'm coming to drift option. I come to drift option with whatever I have. I, I, if whatever I've been missing from wasn't a lack of me not going. Something I've gone to events before and driving the car on the road, actually post and this and like I care about. But people say them don't see me. I haven't seen them. I just laugh and I said that was on my way though. <laughs> the effort was there, my heart was in it, but it's not every time you get up in life and make an attempt that is successful. But keep making the attempt because the richest people in life is the ones that are feared the most. Mm. You know? So you have to just keep pushing. That's true. That's make true. those attempts. All right. So that pretty much wrap it up. A lot was said, a lot to be pondered, a lot to be digested, ensure that. Because this is, this is not just a, a conversation about cars, a lot of this is a conversation about life. And you can apply a lot of what has been said here to your daily stuff in life. Just change up certain car terminology to whatever it is that <laughs> <Car> example. <laughs> um, you guys want to apply it to. I hope somebody walked away with something. I hope we know a little bit more um, about the motorsports in Jamaica and about the great Maurice World Boss, World Boss, Thank you. That was it. Michael here, Jamaican car guy. Big up. Push that subscribe button. Yeah, yeah. Right, like, share, share, and subscribe. 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 <laughs> right. Good episode. All right.